Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to pump bicycle tires. Generally, there are two types of valves on bicycle tires. One is pressed up valve, one is shorter valve. So let's take a look at how shorter valve looks like. Shorter valve, known as uh, American valve, they are commonly used on uh, cars as well. So if you don't have a pump at home, you can always pump at your nearest uh, petrol kiosk. Huh? So what you do, you just remove the cap of the valve, insert your pump head. Once you insert it, all right, just put the lever back so it will be tightened. Uh, every tire has their recommended PSI. So for example, uh, we take a closer look over here. Okay, so we can see that the recommended PSI is 40 to 65. Yeah, so if you don't know what PSI to pump, always refer to the printings on your outer tire. So get a gauge, get a pump with a gauge that shows you uh, at what PSI currently your uh, your current tire is so for example right now it's around maybe perhaps 30 36 so we're gonna pump to 60 so what you're gonna do is just pump it to 60 all right so once you reach the 60 simply put back the lever we just push the pump heat out and tighten back the cap all right, and there you go. That's how you pump a shorter valve. And there are some valve, we call it a uh, Presta valve, right? Presta valve is commonly used on uh, road bikes. Uh, the reason is because the valve head here, right, is smaller uh, as compared to other rims. So for Presta valve, same thing, remove the cap first. Right over here, there's, there's one tiny uh, thread over here. We just unscrew this thing. Okay, make sure it's at the top. Right, so when you press right, the air will leak. Okay, what you're gonna do? So uh, there are many different pumps around. So get a valve that's for Presta. So for example, the pump over here is Geo. Alright, Geo has a feature of dual valve. So you don't have to change uh, any any kind of uh, pumps over here. You just use the same head without doing anything. So like what we did just now on a shorter valve we just do the same thing once you unscrew this part we just insert this in all right all the way all right pull up the lever over here okay so again refer to the psi uh, ratings on your outer tire then we start to pump so for example this has the same psi rating of 60 so we just pump it to 60. all right once you reach your psi Right, same thing, put on the lever, right, do a quick pull. Okay, once you're done, remember, always remember to tighten back this thing. Right, this tiny thread over here. Okay. So when you pump your press, this is press star, when you pump your press star valve, right, sometimes uh, when it's fully pumped, uh, this valve will extend it up. Then this lock, we call it your valve lock, always turn it to the brim. Okay, then we put back the okay. Okay, there you go. So this is how you pump bicycle tires. We always recommend riders to check their tire pressures every one to two weeks because uh, tires will deflate themselves. And we don't want to leave the tires inflated. The reason is because if you leave it there, right, there's a chance that the inner tube and outer tires might crack over time if it's at the uh, deflate conditions. Uh. So always remember to check and pump your tires. Thank you for watching.